You've probably clicked on this video because you want to be more productive or if you are somewhat productive, you want to be even more productive so you can make more money. So in this video, I want to share real, no BS insights on how you could do that. Now, this video is not going to be a clickbaity video where I'm going to promise you're going to make $10,000 a month or $100,000 a month tomorrow. But what I will share with you guys is real insights from three years of coaching other entrepreneurs to enhance their performance, to leverage their time and energy so they can make more money. Specifically, the mindset shifts that has worked for me and other entrepreneurs and the daily changes in their workload they had to do to be more productive, to make more money. All right, so insight number one is you do not need more time, you need more focus. You need better time management. Now, this is really hard for most people to understand because when people think about productivity, they think about putting more time, putting more energy, and spending more time on your desk to get more work done. And especially when all of these gurus, if you go to your YouTube home screen, most of them will say how to work 12 hour days like a millionaire. When it's not about working 12 hour days that makes people successful, it's about what they accomplish in those hours that makes them successful. Because you could be sitting on your desk working 12 hours and that could be spent on things that is not going to move your business forward. It could be busy work or really low impact work. And with that, you could accomplish so little. When you could possibly sit on your desk for two to four hours, 100% 100 focused on the right things that's going to grow your business and you could accomplish significantly more. So productivity is not about putting more time. It's about improving the quality of the hours you spent and making sure you accomplish the right things with the time that you have. Now, if you have a feeling where you need more time to get things done, this is because you have poor attention management and you lack prioritization, or in simple terms, you can't focus. And this is how it would look like. When you sit on your desk, because you lack uh, focus, you have poor attention management, you don't know how to prioritize things. What happens is when you sit on your desk, you start to work, You start to work, but then because you get distracted by different things, you don't know how to prioritize. Let's say you get a message. So you go, you check that message. Then you check your email. Then you open up your social media. Then you hop on calls. Then you, then you maybe work a little bit. Then you do, go again. You check social media. You do all these things that's diverting you from the things you need to do. So you go, it's so noisy and chaotic. It's going all over the place. And then let's say you end your day here. You end your day here. So here's start. Here's end. So basically, let's say this is an even an eight hour workday or like a, an eight hour workday. So you worked eight hours here. That's the total amount of time you worked. But most of that time is just busy work. So this could be eight hours of work or more. Doesn't matter. But because you don't know how to focus, you don't know how to manage your time. You don't know how to make sure the work you're doing is quality work, that gives you a sense of feeling where you need more time to get more things done. And this comes in the form of checking notifications constantly, procrastination, opening up social media, um, over communication, like hopping on endless calls with multiple people or prospects, checking messages back and forth. That basically extends your day to eight hours and it feels like you need more hours to get more work done. Now, on the opposite side of things, when you learn how to focus, and you learn how to manage your time, you know how to manage your attention, ideally what would happen is you would sit on your desk and you would just work straight. Zero distractions, zero focus. And then you possibly end your day there. So let's say this is start and this is end. And basically, all of this mess going all over the place, you remove that. So now your energy is going towards one thing. So what happens here is you could pretty much double your productivity here. Like you literally double your productivity here. And you do, and when the good thing about this is you don't need to work eight hours. Like all of this work here, let's say the start, you st oh, well, one sec. Let's say you started working here, right? This is quality work, and then this is all distractions, and then you do some quality work at the end. This is how much quality work you're getting, and then in between is all busy work. 
So because you remove the busy work, given that you know how to manage your attention, you know how, how to prioritize, what happens is you're able to pretty much double your productivity and get significantly more work done in less time. So this might take you like two to four hours while someone spends eight hours and gets this much progress. So this is progress. Right? They're getting significantly less progress and they're spending significantly more time. You're getting more progress and you're spending significantly less time. This is why you do not need more time. You need more focus and you achieve focus by managing your time correctly, prioritizing what you need to do and managing your attention in terms of getting rid of distractions and making sure you focus on the one thing. And this gets me to insight number two. You do not need to work hard. You just need to put in two hours of 100% focus every single day like clockwork. Now, most people feel like they need six, eight hours to work every single day to grow their business, but you can do a lot with just two hours of 100% focus working on the right things. Because when most people are given eight hours of empty like time on their calendar, it's not all the time going to be focused. What most people do is they do this with the availability of eight hours because Parkinson's law, the amount of work you do will fit based on the amount of time you give it. They usually just extend their day. So they start their day with social media. Then maybe they, they do some admin work, more social media. They'll do some needle moving work, maybe some like important work. They'll grow their business. They'll check social media, then they'll get back. Then they'll do some more admin work, check social media again, have lunch, more social media, admin work, social media, admin work, maybe a little bit of, of productive work here, and then they do the same thing over again, and then productive work here. So this is what most people do, is they extend their day with breaks in between quality work and low quality work. And what happens is they start working extensive hours. When instead, what they could do is they could just remove or um, basically consolidate all the times where they do focus work here and put it into a two hour routine and get things done. And then they have the rest of their day to spend on the other stuff that they want to do. So here's where they could check social media, do admin work, or if they're smart, they could Automate that, streamline that so they don't need to do that. And then they just do two hours of work and you're good. This is what you actually need. You need to put in two hours, 100% focus, clockwork every single day without, like, without uh, miss. And what happens when you do this is that you're able to get asymmetric results. And this gets me to insight number three where focus compounds. You get massive results when you're able to focus on one thing for a long period of time. And because you're able to put in two hours every day, like clockwork, what happens is in the long term of things, because you're consistent, it adds up and you're able to reach the results that you want to do, that you want to achieve. Now, what happens with most people is they're unable to focus. They get so caught up in the busy work. Let's say this busy work, this is their workflow, right? Every single day they're doing busy work and they're unable to focus they're so wrapped up in the noise is that they might start here. They go down, they start here, they lose momentum and then they quit here. Most people quit around here, which is why it's so important to learn how to focus in the long term and making sure you have a two hour routine and you're able to focus every day for two hours. It makes it much simpler for you to focus in the long term and it makes it easier for you. When most people have the expectations of trying to focus for eight hours a day, 12 hours a day, when it is physically, biologically impossible, and then they just start doing busy work. And because they do all this busy work, that eats up the actual focus work that they're doing. And that makes it really hard for them to get the results that they want to because the, they have poor time management, poor attention management, and it's not going to the things that's gonna get them results in long term. So this is why focus is so important. You want to be able to stay consistent with some, one thing for long term, and that's when you achieve leverage. And that gets me to insight number four, which is the number one productivity metric to measure. And the number one thing you want to measure is your focus ratio. This is the 
ratio between the amount of hours you spend on your computer that's actually focused over the total hours you work. Now this is very important because when most people sit on their desk, they don't actually track the amount of hours that is quality work, that is distraction-free work that's going to progress their business. They just treat all hours equally. And when you do that, that's just going to promote you sitting longer hours in your desk, which is not the goal of productivity. The goal of productivity is to increase the ratio of the quality hours you work over the total hours you work so that you make sure most of your time is spent on what's going to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Now, when most people have uh, a low focus ratio or they don't track where their energy is going, where their time is going, it looks like this. This is another representation of busy work. The energy is going to multiple activities to multiple directions, like so. Okay, and then what happens is their focus ratio is really low. They don't, they're, most of the time on their, on their computer is not spent on focus work that's gonna move their business forward. So let's say they work 16 hours in their day, or let's make it more realistic. Let's say they work 12 hours in their day. And then let's say possibly only two hours of that is focus work. Everything else is busy work and just autopilot work. What, what that happens, that gives them a one out of six ratio. So for every six hours they spend on their desk, one hour of it is quality work. And that gives you a really low focus ratio that's below 25%. Now, exactly what would that, that would be a focus ratio of 17%, which is really bad. In terms of what's a good focus ratio and what's a bad focus ratio, a good focus ratio is anything above 30%. An excellent focus ratio is anything above 50%. And a bad focus ratio is anything below 20%. So the fact that you're spending only two hours focused and the rest of those hours is busy work, that is very inefficient. And what you're gonna find out is that you're not gonna progress as fast as you'd like to because most of your time is on busy work. Now, what happens is if you have a high focus ratio, let's say you sit on your desk for six hours, right? You're, you're working less, but four out of those hours is focus work. It's high quality work. Let's put this as green here. It's focus high quality work. So four over six, this gives us a focus ratio of 66%. Now, that means more of our energy is going towards what's going to progress our business. When over here, only 17% is going towards progressing our business. So we could see that distinguishing focus work to general work on your computer is very important. Because when you're able to do that, you know what to prioritize, what to focus on. You're able to basically double, triple, or quadruple your, your uh, progress or your productivity. So this is why this is the number one productivity metric. Is to track your focus work. Is to prior, prioritize focus work hours. Now the bare minimum you wanna do every day is two hours. And then you can go up to six hours on occasions. But in general, two hours should be your base. How many, two hour, how many hours you should do focus work every day. Now anything else that you're doing after you wanna make sure you try to minimize this and try to maximize this, okay? This is how you double your productivity. Now this is not easy. But if you're able to learn how to focus, put in two hours of focus work every single day, and then you could repeat this actually. You could do more hours if you want to. And you know how to remove all this busy work. Remove all the busy work or clean this up. Then you're able to basically double your productivity and instead of having a busy workflow where your thing, things are chaotic, it's smooth, direct, and you're getting things done and you're actually being productive with your time. Now, if you wanna learn exactly how to remove the busy work and how to build a two hour uh, routine so you can get more work done in less time and you can make more money in your business, I have an email list where I send daily insights on how you could basically get what you're getting done in eight hours of busy work all done in two hours. So you can go ahead, click that link in the description and you can join the email list. 
Now, if you want personalized one-on-one -on -one help on how to set this up, uh, if you want me to set this up for you, personalized one-on-one -on -one help, you can go ahead and DM me as well on Telegram to our club and I'll send you the details if you want to work with me.